Order of magnitude gives you an estimate of how big something is. So, for example, if you have a ruler, if you have a ruler, a uh, ruler is usually about a meter long, okay? So, that's the order of magnitude estimate for the length of a ruler. If you have, for example, a classroom, okay, and you want to know how tall, what is the height of the classroom? The classroom might, the height of the classroom might be, for example, this classroom might be two meters long or three meters long. But that is not an order of magnitude. An order of magnitude has to use powers of 10. So, for example, you have to say that this classroom has to have a height of either 0.1 meters, 1 meter, 10 meter, or 100 meters. Uh, that close to the, right. Close, close, to the power of 10. close to a power of 10, yeah. So, for example, this classroom, of course, the height is not 100 meters, and it's too because small. It's not close to 100. Right, definitely it's not close to 100 meters. And 0.1 meters is too small. 0.1 meters is, uh, is too small for the height of this classroom. So, maybe somewhere between 1 and 10 meters. Maybe so, this. Let's take a meter stick and let's mm -hmm. measure it. Isaac, can you tell me what is the estimate of the height between the ceiling and the. Well, we track himself is about 2 meters tall. No, I can, how, can, how can I be 2 meters? I'm 1 meter tall. Not 1 meter. Do you know how tall? Yeah, you? 1 meter is 100 centimeters. In terms of oh, okay. Maybe I'm one and a half. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm yeah. going to convert it exactly. Okay. Right? Sure. Five. Five foot nine. Five foot nine. Two. He's five foot eleven. Okay. Five foot eleven. Five foot eleven. Five foot eleven. Okay. okay. So that's exactly seventy-one inches, which is one point eight meters. So oh. that's two exactly. meters. So okay. you're two meters. So okay. how many of you? How Wait, many yeah. of you? Two meters and the. Uh, so four meters. The, the roof is approximately two and a half feet that tall. So, so five meters. Service, Five meters. Yeah. Five meters. Okay. Or if we were to do okay. That, okay. Oh, hold on. Yeah. If we were to do that, four point five. Four point five meters. Four point five meters. So right, four point okay. five. Is four point okay. five close to ten or one? So it's closer to one. So let's say that this yes. room is Definitely one meter tall. Meters. Well, no. you have to no. use order of magnitude. Order of magnitude. That's what we are trying yeah. to see. So which one is the correct answer, Isaac? One, 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 ten, one hundred. One. Good. Good. Sometimes uh, magnitude is power of 10. We have to use the scientific notation. So A times 10 is to B. A has to be between uh, 10 and 1, right? So A has to be greater than uh, or equal to 1 and, um, and less than or equal to 10. And the B has to be um, a whole number, be it positive or negative. Okay. However, there is a rounding rule. The rounding rule tells us that A uh, 3.16 if the a is greater than or equal to 3.16 then b then b uh, b plus 1 that's the order of magnitude if a is less than 3.16 then b plus 0 okay so where does 3.16 come from so since uh, we call it power of 10 and then you half it and then square root of 10 which is 3.16. Okay, now we're going to apply this uh, this rule. And of course, whenever we talk about uh, order of magnitude of anything, we have to convert it to sign, uh, as a unit. So as a unit for length, so these are all the length. Length is, of course, meter. And this we're going to do mass. As a unit for mass is kilogram. So if you uh, measure it in... Um, uh, milligram you have to convert it to kilogram if you measure it in millimeter you have to convert it to uh, meter one light year so one light year what do we know about uh, velocity velocity is distance over time when we talk about light there is a special notation it calls c c for the speed of light so instead of velocity you're going to call it c c is d over t you want to find the distance the one light year the length or distance in one the light moves travels in one year so distance is ct so from your reference table you already know c c is 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second and um, t is 3 times 10 raised to 7 uh, second a year okay 7 second a year so second second cancel 3 times 3 times 10 raised to 8 plus 7 uh, meter so 9 times 10 raised to 15 meter 
So uh, this is a is greater than 3.16. So then, uh, so then uh, 15 plus 1. So now, order of magnitude, order of magnitude is 16, and scientific notation would be 9 times 10 is to 15. Okay. All right. We're gonna do move to number two. Uh, proton. So proton. Uh, uh, consider atom. If you have an electron and this is a proton, this is a hydrogen atom. The atom, the diameter of atom itself, the diameter of atom itself is 10 raised to negative 10 meters. But we are not talking about the diameter of atom. We are talking about the diameter of proton. So diameter of proton is one. Uh, femtometer. In Norwegian language, femtometer is 15, uh, but um, uh, most of the time we call it Fermi meter. Uh, one Fermi meter. Fermi is Enrico Fermi who won the Nobel Prize in 1938 and 1939 he joined the Manhattan Project and 1940 he uh, invented the nuclear reactor and 1945 he and his group um, uh, ended up creating a, a, an atom bomb and 1945 they wanted to experiment it and he invented order of magnitude to uh, kind of estimate the, uh, uh, the, the magnitude of the explosion of fast atomic bomb. Uh, uh, so that uh, that was tested in New Mexico, uh, July 17, 1945. Anyway, okay. So uh, one uh, femtometer or Fermi meter is 10 raised to negative 15 meters. Okay. So uh, one one times 10 raised to negative 15. One is less than 3.15. So 15 negative 15 plus zero. So negative 15. Order of magnitude is negative 15. So now distance of R to moon. So, distance of Earth to Moon, you have the Earth, you have the Moon, and the distance between Earth to Moon is 3.84 times 10 raised to 8 meter. This guy is, um, what do you call it, uh, A. A is, of course, greater than 3.16, so then 8 plus 1, 9, 9. Simple. All right, I'm not going to even write the, uh, write the scientific notation. I write the scientific notation here. Okay, good. Now, radius of earth. So, this is Mr. Berry, and the radius of earth is the distance from Mr. Berry's uh, feet to the center of the earth. If you dig all the way, how much you have to dig? 6.37 times 10 raised to 6 meters. All right. Uh, this is A. A is bigger than 3.16. So, then um, you have to write B plus 1. So, th 6 plus 1, 7. So order of magnitude of the radius of the earth is seven. All right, so length of a football field. When we talk about a soccer field or football field is between um, football field is always less than 110 meter and greater than, I don't know, 90 meters. So let's say 110 meters. All right, so 110 meter, what are the, our options? is? Let's give you three options. You have 100, you have 10, and you have 1,000. Okay, so 110 is close to 100, right? So 100 is squared, all right? So now uh, you're gonna, uh, this is one way of doing it, or you can write scientific notation. So 1.1 times 10 is to two. So this is 1.1 is less than 3.16. So two plus zero, so two. All right. Length of a meter stick. Length of a meter stick is uh, this is a meter stick. Length of a which is 100 centimeter. This is wrong. This is wrong because I have to write it in scientific notation. One meter. Uh, I have to write it in SI unit. Now I have to write it in scientific notation. All right. This is a is less than 3.16. So then zero plus zero. So this is zero. Good. Uh, now we're going to do length of a car. So when we talk about a car, the length of a car is about 5 meters. Now 5 meters, the scientific notation is 5 times 10 is to 0, of course. This is 5 meters because this is 5 times 1 is 5 meters, right? All right. Okay, so now 5, uh, A is greater than 3.16. So all right, so 1. 1. All right, 
Um, now we're going to do length of a classroom. Length of a classroom, if you are talking about the classroom, length of a classroom is about 8 meters. So 8 times 10 is to uh, 0 meter. All right, A is bigger than 3.16. So then uh, B plus uh, 1. So B is 0 plus 1, so 1. All right, now next uh, we're going to do uh, diameter of a chair. Diameter of a chair, if you uh, talk about a, uh, of, a, of a chair, diameter of a chair is 0 0.5 meters. So make it a scientific notation 5 times 10 raised to negative 1 meters. Okay? Uh, 5 is of course greater than uh, a is greater than 3.16 so then b plus 1 so b is minus 1 plus 1 so 0 so 0 all right so now next one is height of a brooklyn tank height of a brooklyn tank is about 200 meters uh, 183 meters i'll just say 200 meters so 2 times 10 is to 2 meters all right a is uh, greater less than 3.16 so b plus 0 so 2 now we're going to do height of a statue of liberty height of a statue of liberty is half the brooklyn tech so 1 times 10 is to 2 meter so a is again less than 3.16 uh, so then b plus 0 uh, all right 2 Okay, now we're going to do length of a Mount Everest. So if you have if you you have Mount Everest in Nepal and that Mount Everest is 9,000 meter. 9,000 meter is close to 10,000, right? Or let's put it in scientific notation. It doesn't really matter. It's 3 meter. A is greater than 3.16. Then B must be uh, 1. So 4. All right, now we're going to do uh, your height. My height is 172 centimeters, which is 1.72 meter. What does that mean? 1.72 times 10 is to 0 meter. 1.72 is less than 3.16. So then I'm going to just put 0, right? So uh, 0 order of magnitude. Um, size of a sand. Size of a sand is very small, is 1 micro micrometer. So one micrometer times meter, of course, we have to have converted to as a unit, micrometer. So one micrometer is 10 raised to negative 6, micrometer, micrometer cancer. So 10 raised to negative 6. So negative 6 order of magnitude of the sand. Width of a hair. So width of a human hair could be 100, 100 micrometer, which is uh, micrometer, meter. Uh, one micrometer is, um, is 10 raised to negative 6 meter micrometer micrometer cancel so 100 times 10 raised to negative 6 meter so times 10 raised to negative 6 meter so 10 raised to negative 4 meter negative 4 now width of a finger so width of a finger width of my finger is 1 centimeter 1 centimeter is 0 .0 0 0.01 meter 0 0.01 meter is 1 times 10 raised to negative 2 meter. 1 is less than 3.16. That means this negative 2. Okay, now we're going to do this one. Object mass and order of magnitude pencil is 4, four gram. One pencil is 4 gram. So 4 gram is not a SI unit. So we have to convert it to gram, uh, kilogram. So gram, kilogram. So one gram is uh, negative three, right? Um, kilogram. Um, so gram gram cancel four times ten raised to negative three kilogram. All right. So four. Uh, so a is bigger than three point one six. Uh, so what does that mean? So we have to write negative three uh, plus one. So negative two order of magnitude is negative 2. All right, so phone is uh, 271 gram, about 271 gram. So uh, that means uh, times uh, kilogram and gram. So one gram is 10 raised to negative 3 kilogram. So you have 271 gram cancel times 10 raised to negative 3. So convert to uh, Scientific notation 2.71 times 
uh, make it smaller. So 10 raised to minus one uh, kilogram, right? Kilogram, right? So now this one a is less than 3.16. So this you don't add anything. So negative one. Okay. Now physics book. Physics book is 2.3 kilogram, right? So 2.3 times 10 raised to zero kilogram. So 2.3 a is less than 3.16. So then b must be zero. so this is zero. Zero order of magnitude. Okay. If you see any typo, let me know. I'll I'll make the correction.